Third and 14. Ball on the 19-yard line. Three plays and no first down, and now it's decision time for this offense. Well, the defense did what they had to do so far. They're showing a lot of heart out there. He's at midfield. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. A score here might effectively end this one. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 34. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. From the 34-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Well, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And it's knocked away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Throws it out there. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 46-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 35-14. Bernard from the six. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. They'll start at the 30. Richard looking to throw on first down. Brought down in the open field. Long ball right side. And they tackle him at the nine. I'm not sure that'll be enough at this point, but it's good to see them moving successfully and giving it their best effort. It's first down. Defense gets set to defend the short field. He's tackled at the eight. Heard. Only picks up about a yard there on the counter. Really just nowhere to go on that play. It's a good job of these guys slowing down that running game. He's tackled right away. Nowhere to go on that play action pass completion. Richard drops back to pass. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Fires a laser touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result.
And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 70-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 35-21. Super effort by the special teams. So now it's up to the offense to take care of the ball and chew up the clock. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Sisk picks up about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Runs it up the gut and hit a wall of defenders. Sisk gets about a yard on the play. From the 36-yard line, third down. The Rams call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. He passes it. And he's got it! He's all the way home. Touchdown. Great play. This should be pretty academic now. Everything after this will just be for the box score. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 41-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 42-21. Fuqua looks ready to kick this one off. Hurd fields it at the three. He's taken down at the 28. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. We've got a first and 10. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. First down, look at the throw. They'll bring him down at the 46. Good pick up here on the ground, but I bet the coach would have been happier if he was able to get out of bounds on that play to stop the clock. Richard drops back on first down. He's out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Heard. Picks him up two yards with that catch. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Just under two minutes in the game. Back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Decides to slide three, maybe four yards on the scramble. From the 48-yard line, it's third down. Just under two to go in the game. Heard on the inside handoff. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. They're calling an audible. Going long. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And for Richard, he's been responsible for three scoring passes. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. And he hits the PAT. So a five-play, 73-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So the score now, 42-28. And it's the kicking team that's got it. A few moments ago, it looked like this team was done. And now they're only down two scores, and they've got the ball back plus momentum. It just shows you how fast things can change. <laughs> Throws incomplete, broken up. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. Five. 
back to pass, and they got him in a hurry. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. A little over a minute in the game. It's intercepted, and that should do it. He's taken down at the 46. That's just great defense all around right here. The corner plays a very disciplined zone and steps right in front of the throw. From the 46-yard line, first down. Under a minute left. Takes the handoff inside and stopped immediately. And he gets a yard on the run. Under a minute left in the game. Sisk gets the ball. He makes his way out to about the 35. The Rams call for a timeout. And that was their last timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. And that should do it, our final tally in this one. The Warriors, 42. The Rams, 28. And for Burns, his play here today has gotten him recognized as our player of the game. Well, that'll do it for another game of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk, Aaron, and all our friends at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye. We'll see you next time.